In this problem, we have a circular conducting loop. Uh, it looks like a straight line because we are looking at it from the side. And this n vector here is the vector normal to the loop. And that normal vector is at a degree theta 30 degrees uh, from a magnetic field, a magnetic field with a magnitude of 0 0.50 teslas. Now, this loop is being rotated in such a way that its angle, theta, is constant. So, the nor so you can imagine the normal vector uh, revolving around the magnetic field vector here with the angle remaining constant. And it is rotating uh, at a rate of 100 revolutions per minute. We are asked to find the magnitude of the electromotive force, or EMF, that is being induced in the loop. According to Faraday's law, uh, the amount of EMF being induced in a loop is equal to uh, the rate of change, or the derivative, of magnetic flux with respect to time. So you could write it as the derivative of magnetic flux uh, over uh, dt. And that is what we want to find if we want to find the amount of EMF being induced in the loop right now. So let's try and find out if there is a, uh, a difference in magnetic flux at any point in this uh, system here as it's revolving. The formula for magnetic flux is given by the magnitude of the magnetic field uh, times the area of the loop uh, times cosine of the angle between them. So in other words, it's basically the dot product of the magnetic field and the area vector. However, when we analyze this formula, we realize something interesting. Uh, the magnetic field, or uh, the capital B here, is a constant that is given to us by the problem. And the area of the loop isn't changing, or at least we aren't told if the loop is elastic or if it's going to shrink or enlarge or anything like that. So it seems like that's going to be constant as well. And we're told that the way the loop is rotating, the angle, theta, is never going to change. Meaning that the magnetic flux at all points during this revolution is going to be completely constant. What that means is that the rate of change with respect to time is going to be equal to zero. So if there is no change in magnetic flux, then no EMF is going to be induced in the loop. So our answer to the problem is just going to be zero.